dogs in the nighttime. Ooh. Trap nigga with the chickens like Popeye. Popeye. Yo guys, what is going on to this year? Welcome back to another video on the channel and yes, it has been a very long time and I'm very sorry guys, but I am back and that is all that matters. I'm going to be making loads of videos for you guys and yeah, as you can tell by the title, we will be making a YouTube banner today and if you enjoy the video, hit the like button down below um, for this return. If you're excited, comment down below what videos you'd like to see from me next. I will reply to as many as possible and I will um, like probably give you shout outs and videos like the ones that I actually use you know like pop up and stuff like that but yeah today I'll be making a YouTube ad it's gonna be really really clean simplistic and yeah um, I'm back and I'm gonna be making loads of videos for you guys um, so yeah subscribe if you are new and make sure you follow me on Twitter at TimpizHD if you uh, haven't already because I will be posting a lot on there from now on um, and yeah with that all being said, let's get right into the video. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop, so you wanna open up a YouTube banner template and also my 27K GFX pack. And the first thing we're gonna do is bring over some of these stocks that we've got right here. Just bring it over, make it bigger, Control T, and then hold Shift and drag to make it bigger and fit the screen. And then we're just gonna bring it below those margins at the top and bottom. And next, what you wanna do is add another one you can literally choose any any one you want because they're all quite similar but different at the same time and they look really really nice and i'm just going to add this one right here as you can see it's black and white with the lines and i want them white lines to kind of stand out and the way to do that is change it to one of the following ones if you go to blending modes you can choose light and color dodge or screen i think color dodge will look good and you can see them white lines pop out and now we're going to add some colour, so you want to go to the brush tool, make it quite big. If you press Ctrl, Alt and right click and move to the left and right, you can make the brush smaller or bigger. Um, and then if you move it up and down, it like changes the hardness as well, so we want it to be zero hardness. And then at the bottom, it's got a stroke of red and probably, yeah, change that to colour dodge. And then add a new layer, do the exact same thing, but change that to overlay and bring it below the one that you've just done and bring down the opacity. And then next what we're going to do is add some spots of white. So we're just going to change the colour and add white spots at the bottom. Change that to overlay. Nice. And then what we're going to do is add a new layer, go to colour, change it to black. And then around the outside just add like a shadow. It's just a nice clean banner that we're making right here, very simplistic. The next thing we're going to do is add this thing again, make it bigger and then what you want to do is go to filter, pixelate mosaic and make them fairly big, the pixels, not massive, probably something like 20. And then you want to go to filter, stylize, find edges, and then filter, filter gallery, and then go to stylize, glowing edges, and you just want to copy these, you can pause it, I think edge with warm brightness up all the way and smoothness down, and you get these white lines. And then what we're going to do is change that to color dodge, and you get that really nice, really nice like gaming effect. Um, just looks really cool and then you can just rub away the top and bottom maybe bring it below the shadows and the highlights and then that you've got that next thing we're gonna do is add a new layer and then at the top just add a spot of white right in the center like so and then bring down the opacity and now we'll just add some CC's which will just like bring everything together so bring down the brightness bring up the contrast color curves, make a, a little S shape like this, let's bring this one down, that one up, and then go to exposure, bring up the exposure a bit, not, not too much, offset a little bit, and gamma correction again a little bit, and then if you go to color balance, and basically change it to the color you've been using, so like red, bring that up, maybe magenta a little bit, yellow maybe. And then if you just group all that together, you can see 
it's like, it just looks a lot better. It blends it together, makes it all similar. So it's like all one image rather than separate layers. And now we're just gonna add some text. I'm just gonna do something like this to put pre-made. And the font that I'm gonna be using is, let's get it up. It's called Antonio. Right there. It's really nice, simplistic font. It's just uh, basic. And it's just different to things like Bebas New, which is quite used quite a lot. So I just want to switch it up. And as you can see, it looks really nice. Just bring down the opacity, uh, not the, the size, sorry. And because it is a simplistic YouTube banner, I don't want too much going on. You might want the social media on there. But what I'm going to do is add like a pixelated, well not pixelated, like a glitchy effect. So I'm just going to have to rasterize it, but um, obviously you guys just put whatever uh, name you want. So I'm just going to move it. I'll just show you guys that again. I got the uh, rectangle marquee tool highlighted, half of it, then gone to the arrow tool and let's use the, key, the uh, arrow keys on your keyboard. I'm going to move it to the left a little bit. And as you can see, it gives it that glitchy effect. It kind of fits in with the background. That's the whole thing that's going on right there. And it looks really nice. So now I'm just going to add the official channel of... Usually I get that I spell that wrong pretty much every single time. But I think it, it looks alright this time. But yeah, I'm just going to put that right in the middle. Like so. And then obviously you can have um, at the bottom, maybe it's like social media. So I'll just put like, stay, stay connected. And then you can put your social media there. Or you may, maybe over there, put it over there. And then on the other side, maybe I just duplicate it by pressing control J. Put, make sure to subscribe. go right there looks like a similar distance to me if not I'm just doing it quickly for you guys but as you can see it looks really nice and then if you want you can change the color at the end if you go to hue and saturation mess around with that to you guys but yeah it's just a really simplistic YouTube banner and yeah that's about it for the video um, if you guys want to if let me know what video you'd like to see from me next. Comment down below what uh, tutorials, any banners. Might do um, a Fortnite styled um, revamp pack. I'll see, I'm not too sure. But yeah, leave a like on the video. Um, I don't know how many likes to set because you know I've not uploaded in quite a while. But just let's, let's just do the best we can. And yeah, um, subscribe if you are new. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope you're all having a sick day today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.